All right, we want disarray. Unending. Landscape. Starscape. Uncontrollable. Philosophy. Vertigo. Hopeless. God damn it, Sayori. Contamination. Treks. Uh, Existence. Captive. Incongruent. Entropy. Massacre. Oh, boy. Sensation. Despise. Graveyard. Extreme. Frightening. Nice. Oh, man. We need to skip this. Oh, no. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? Oh, my God. I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. Ah, oh, the introvert. I can totally fucking relate. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. Oh, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But, I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. What was I thinking? Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell I was thinking like that? Well, something that I do a lot. Oh wait, this is, uh... Is this... Oh, yeah, this is when Sayori starts going unhappy town. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. But not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. Oh, definitely. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Okay. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. It's because she's depressed. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh, no. So sorry. I didn't mean to see something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. See, Yuri and I have just been friends for a long time. That's all. Ah, I see. Don't worry. Your chances aren't ruined. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Aliulo. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So I think there might be something behind it after all. Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. Yuri's on to her, and she might she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Oh no! I, I, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. You're still not ruined in your chances of getting together with this guy who no one really un knows. No one fucking knows him. He's been here for three fucking days. We're just good friends, that's all. Uh, Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Oh, baby. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. 
And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is... I think that... She would be a very fortunate person... To have you feel that way about her. Yuri... You're giving me too much credit, I'm actually awful. I'm a pretty simple guy. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? Oh, no, why do we ruin everything? It is what it is. <laughs> At least he's being honest. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Uh, reading time? Okay, everyone. After some time... Uh, uh, after some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Oh, no, Skip! Sayori, hey! How you doing? Oh, you're doing awful. Oh, man. You need a hug? Natsuki, do you still hate me? Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, he didn't even! Next! Well, damn. Girl, damn. Yuri. Uh, Aliulo. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Aw, oh, thanks, baby. I can really feel the emotions. I'm really feeling it. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example that I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. Oh, that's adorable. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. Yuri, why are you so cute, though? I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Oh, no. El Yulo, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Aw, oh, dude, same. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact... I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But... Books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Oh no, Yuri, stop trying to date the imaginary people. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Aliulo. I believe you. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Aliulo. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. That's why every time I talk to you, 
I just feel really happy. I see. You, you want a hug? Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um... Yeah, we kind of blew that with Natsuki in this run. If you put it that way... Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Aww! Want a hug? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah. I do. Let me get it for you. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ghost Under the Light, Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the airy glow. Airy glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I am too late. He steps into the street light. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. This is another love poem? Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Now you want me to keep this one? Do you dislike it? Ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptid, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Also, this clearly isn't the poem that Natsuki said she wrote about. Wait, what? Meaning I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Oh, oh man, Yuri, why are you so cute? Yuri is having an even ti harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So, thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can... Um... The poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Once again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. Hehe. <laughs> With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Aw, oh, bye baby. Hey, Monica. How you doing? Alright, bye. Huh? Oh. Your, st your style's gotten so refined, Aliulo. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Whoa! I guess so? Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. Uh... I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things she has in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm, you're certainly putting in a lot of effort. Don't look too deeply into it. You must really like her. Eh, uh, that's... Nah. <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Wow! Just because I can call things edgy doesn't mean you can. Well, 
I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Oh man. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Okay, bye. Uh, Yuri. Oh, I'll probably be most helpful, help, useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no! I was just saying! Ah! So you'll be helping Yuri then, Alilo? Yeah? That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Aliulo? Me? I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Ah. Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No one's yelling. But no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Aliulo picked me. It's because we're trying to date. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. You can do it! But I began to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone and smile and feel good about themselves. Now I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna say this. Huh? You better bet that my cupcakes are being the, gonna be the best part of the whole event! Uh, I believe you. Okay, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Alright, bye! Everyone packs up their things. I start to file, follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Hey, Yuri? Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realized I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Goddamn game me, why are you so awful at this? Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh! My- my house? What? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just need to get some things ready. I just thought that would be the one going over to your house since I'm the one helping you. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, 
I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. Very suspicious. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Aliulo. I think that will make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Uh... I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. It's cause you're cute! You're forgetting the one reason with most common sense. It's cause you're cute! I chose to help you because you're cute! Because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! It's time to skip already? I've been getting increasing, increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. Oh, wow! She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I have to skip dialogue. I would like to hug you, but you do not want hugs. I, I did hug you, though. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, oh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. That is a really cute sweater, turtleneck. Were you waiting for a long time? No, oh, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You could have always texted me. If I'd known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. You're not used to this, don't worry about it. Should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. Did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. What'd I get? I take Yuri to my room. Oh, baby! The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me look feel anxious. It's so clean. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Oh, man, that makes me feel all self-conscious. I got this huge pile of shit in the side of my room. That pile of all of my belongings has been here for almost nine months, eight months at this point. I put it there at May, and I haven't touched it since. Holy shit. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah! That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatch Yuri's wrist, which, in the, which is in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Scandal! Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if she's making sure she's keeping track of them. Aw, oh, man. My hands wander all over, too. Scratch my face, run my fingers through my hair. So, um... Should we get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know... Mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. 
I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. Cupcakes are an important reason of going to any event. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that... is that so? It makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. What? I was going to use them during the poetry event. What? Oh yeah, like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. Yuri, what is that? I did some shopping on the way here, so I happened to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Yuri, what kind of shit are you planning? I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a dildo. It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Oh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes, pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is the jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and help you, helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know about a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. Are you playing me? She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Holy shit. Oh, yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That does sound pretty cool. It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Aliula. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Now to pick from the thousands of kanji. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad, my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh! The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. Yuri, why did you bring a knife to my house? The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary knife. That is advanced. It looks really fancy. Uh, uh well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Teach their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. 
The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. Are you going to kill me? I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe. Oh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Don't worry, I thought you were weird anyway. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the fa handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Uh, actually, I could probably get one of those. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of my knife with an index finger. Ow! Hello, What did you do with that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. God damn it, game me. Barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah, uh, you're gonna bandage my finger, nurse. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Oh god, revenge! I feel her tongue curl around- That's fucking lewd, her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh oh But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I- Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri! You know, you should- you should only do that to girls you really like, Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. That is a very stupid thing to do. <laughs> Haliulo! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Uh. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Aliulo. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? No. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, uh, I don't think I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Getting work done. After we finish the p attaching the paper to the ribbons, we all lay them out side by side. Man, I wish I was this fucking productive when I was in school. I was a lazy shit. Did I miss something? Because I'm an idiot? No. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, oh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. You'll, we'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Got it, boss. 
Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I'm coming to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Yuri? Ah, uh, nothing. Her face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so? Oh, Yuri, why must you do this? Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought it would be something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! What are you going to write? Well... It'll be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. I just cut construction paper. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Huh? I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. She gets me! You understand. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Oh, never mind. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me make things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah! Huh, so sorry! That was adorable. Why must your screams be cute? Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, uh, your face... There are droplets a year of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Oh, wow, Lude. Sorry, it's totally my fault. Oh, wow, Rude. Well, I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, and then I damp it with hot, dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. <gasps> CG! Here. I pat Yuri, down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Huh. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Ah! Wait. Yuri, why? Ah! Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Ah, oh, dreamy. It's an, an, intense, an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Is she reading me? It's almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? I think she is seducing you. Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gently finger, gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Uh. Oh, wow. 
all the spaghetti all over the floor. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements, her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. Get the fucking work done! That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. You're gonna add the lettering now? Ah, oh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but don't, won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Whew! Ah, you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, oh, no, it's not bad. I just wanted to get this shit done. I'm just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we'd have some extra time after finishing the work. Ah. The schemes. Well. Ah. Uh, Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault, because I suck. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with, her, with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. We can, you can always come over to my house, Yuri. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. Oh no, we fucked up. About the day. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come over. We can go out somewhere. I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble up over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Aliulo. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Oh god, we're holding hands. I kind of like that about you. Well... How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori! Ah, uh, not this again. Eh! Ah! H Hi, Alilo! Sayori! Just now we weren't! Eh! Uh, it's okay, Alilo! I just stopped by to say hi! Uh, um. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course! Siori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Bye, Yuri. Siori waves goodbye after her. Aw, oh, man. And then this... This happens, and she confesses her love. Fuck! We're going to have to go back in time again, boys. There we go. That's two Pokemon collected. And by Pokemon, I mean girlfriends. On to the next.